Hi guys, this is Dan. Welcome to Angle Guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. I greatly appreciate it. This is the daily forecast for all signs. It's originally created for July 7th, um, but it's not solely set for that date. If you're seeing it on a different date and it still makes sense to your life, please, by all means, use it. Um, uh, for those of you that are new, please check out the drop-down menu underneath the video. And there is house rules, things I want you to think about. When utilizing my channel, what decks I'm using, how to book a private reading, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, great ways to support the channel, please hit that thumbs up button. Um, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I go live or when I put up a new video, there is daily content. And um, uh, leave a question or comment, share the video out. All of those are great ways of supporting the channel. All right, so let me see, what is our card for today? Sorry, I'm, as you guys can see, I'm back home. Spent all day yesterday traveling. It was a long day. I'm really tired today. Ah, that's why I'm filming this so late. It's the Hermit. Solitude, introspectivity, or sorry, introspections and insight. The Hermit to me is always about finding one's own information above all else and maybe having to withdraw to get that information, right? We have, um, I mean, not even maybe, like the Hermit is about withdrawal and going inward, finding the light within, finding our own truth, even if it doesn't necessarily sit popularly with everybody else. Virgo is, I mean, sorry, the Hermit is associated with the sign of Virgo, so it is an earth sign. I'm not mad at that. We did have the Eight of Pentacles show up twice this week. It's been a lot of Pentacles energy going on lately, so this to me feels like it's also Major Arcana, so this feels like a powerful day for us, but it's going to be a powerful day of insight more than likely, powerful day of... Uh, Maybe inner communion with oneself, the conversations that you have with yourself, the information that you trade um, or acquire within one's own thoughts. Does that make sense? Or within one's own spirit or information. So what I want to say about this is, is reflect, like go deep, go inward, um, listen to your voice other than the voices around you. Certainly you can take, um, you know, uh, others counsel in a way or, or advice, but it's really, this card would represent listening to our own inner wisdom above anything else, right? I do get a very, like, sort of solemn feeling from the uh, Hermit card always, like this real kind of mellow energy. And to me, this is no exception. It feels sort of grounded, um, quiet. Um, that's just sort of the vibe that I'm getting. There might be where we're not, uh, we might actually make a choice to not really choose to uh, interact with a lot of people today at a very, uh, say, maybe surface level. Uh, the, the hermit would be much more uh, withdrawn and um, focused within the, the self, within one's own self, than be dealing with like outside influences and all of that sort of stuff. So if some of you want to pull into hiding or <laughs> just disappear altogether, that could be this Virgo energy. It's not necessarily, I mean, that this hermit energy, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, and sometimes it's nice to go reconnect with our own selves and honor like who we are and what we know at a very deep level. So that's the power of this. There could be some wisdom that comes from this card. Certainly the hermit would indicate wisdom. Um, usually it's wisdom around the self or around how we operate or where we operate or what we do um, that uh, should be beneficial and positive, right? But it just means that we need to kind of take the time to connect to our own selves and to our higher selves uh, to get that information. All right, so let's look at the White Light Oracle. Sorry, guys. I'm like kind of a wreck. My nose is draining because I had um, my nose was stuffed up in Colombia the entire time. I didn't. I think it was the altitude. I had like one side of my nose I just couldn't breathe out of. It was really weird. So it's now like yeah, now that I'm back home and I'm back at like normal altitude. I think we're like 650 feet above sea level here in San Antonio. Um, uh, Medellin is like 5,000 and something feet above sea level. It's very different way up in the Andes Mountains. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Oh, I need my glasses. We have, oh, Sacred Scar, she's back. Was she yesterday or was that? This girl, was this number not, she wants to be heard. Card number 11, Mastery. When did she come in? Oh, she came in on the 4th. Salt Paludi is her friend. Okay, so I'm gonna read you Sacred Scars. Um, and the hermit is, this is definitely about deep inner work, guys, is we're on the heart probably too. Um, 
uh, just from the standpoint of the, the the light of the hermit and then that heart that's on her chest, that o- open, so- like not sore, but that scar that's on her chest, right? There's some work to be done, some internal discussion that needs to happen within ourselves as we sort of, you know, try and be true to what we know is our truth, our wisdom, right? With that hermit card there, we're going to have to listen to that. So let me um, read you Sacred Scar. Your inner and outer scars are marks of your soul's courage. They are signs of strength and survival, of your willingness to be alive. The Sacred Scar speaks of that which once caused pain being transformed into higher knowledge and inner power. Trauma shall be transformed through spiritual initiation, leading you from woundedness to wisdom. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You can trust your healing process and in the hidden higher purpose behind things happening as they do. You are strong and you shall flourish on all levels. <clears throat> Some experiences are hard to weather, even when our intention is to trust. Going through a challenging time is likely to give rise to suffering. Consider the mo- mother eagle raising her precious eaglets in the sanctuary of a meticulously padded and fiercely defended nest. They know safety and comfort until one day the mother who provided unceasing nurturance abruptly pushes them out of the nest and into the air. She knows this is how they will learn that they can fly. For the eaglet, there is not yet any such knowledge. Disoriented and disturbed, but eventually innate instinct overtakes confusion, and those brave little eaglets begin to flap their fledgling wings during the plummet from the nest. They have learned the purpose of this tough lesson and grown. The trauma of disruption became their initiation into power. You don't have to enjoy the process of growth, but you can always trust it has your best interest at heart. However, do not confuse negative, especially traumatic experiences as something spirit has inflicted upon you. Spirit would love your growth to happen in your in the most joyful and peaceful ways possible. As your relationship to spirit heals and strengthens, this can be the way you grow more often than not. However, spirit only knows that sometimes we are to move through intense experiences before we can gain access to the light. Those experiences can teach us things only those who have truly suffered and brought their suffering to consciousness and healing can know. The lessons learned include compassion, wisdom, strength, and fearlessness, faith in spirit and in humanity, and the recognition of the challenges of awakening whilst having trust in the ultimate power of the light. Such a soul becomes only truly bad at, such a soul becomes one truly badass and divine human being, a powerful healer with a light and a light bearer in this world. The Oracle of Sacred Scar lets you know that your greatest struggles are the pathway to your potential. You are not being punished. Those circumstances have not been imposed upon you by spirit, but spirit will work with you to free you of negativities and bring you into the light, stimulating the sacred alchemical wisdom within your heart that knows how to distill goodness, grace, and healing from even the most terrible experiences. If you are deep in suffering now, know that your spirit is with you, loving you and bringing you this oracle. You shall heal. Do not give up. Proceed until you are exactly where you want to be. You have the inner spirit to ensure even a negative experience will only cause positive growth in you and your life. The healing process. Place your hand at your heart and take a deep calming breath in and out. Repeat three times. Read or say the following aloud if possible. I am a divine soul on a sacred journey. The wounds that are healing are where the light is most active within me. When pain gets my attention, it is the divine wisdom within asking me to notice and learn something helpful and compassionate. My scars are signs of wisdom gained. The light can and will assist me in transforming even the most difficult struggles into holy paths of grace. Healing shall manifest completely, generously, and lovingly according to my divine timing for the spiritual benefit of all beings. I am grateful, strong, and blessed. Rest, reflect. Are there issues you believe you cannot heal? Can you hand them over to spirit with the belief they can and will be healed? Repeat the above statement if you feel it would help you anchor confidence and trust in your heart and mind. Ground, replenish, and hydrate yourself. You have completed this healing process. So I kind of feel like this information or this, oh, sorry, it's just not the computer, but this wisdom that's coming out of Sacred Scar is also the wisdom that's in the hermit, right? In that deep reflection, staying grounded and powerful today, even in sort of a, maybe a small silence as we reflect and look at some of the stuff that we might believe that holds us back. There's a way trip to transform it. I love how Sacred Scar, she's sort of looking over that her light in the hermit card in that, in that white candle. Um, but... It's almost like she's coveting the flame or keeping it alive, right? And and there's a the connection between them, um, feels sort of beautiful and deep. Uh, there is 
some wisdom or information deep within us that if we go and seek it out, it may actually liberate us and free us to be able to own parts of ourselves that um, uh, almost like need to be seen or released or acknowledged. That's kind of the feeling I'm getting. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tired of being trippy, but let's see what the hidden truth is. Your intellect arouses me. Interesting. <sighs> to me, this feels playful when it says arouses me. It feels kind of like interested. There's a There feels to me, when I look at these together, the focus should be on finding a little bit of joy and fun in the search, even in the deep dive of the hermit, right? Look at like things from... Uh, uh, this intellect arouses me, makes me feel like, look at things from uh, like almost a sense of the positive, how um, you've maybe handled or survived situations in the past and how they've made you better for that. Does that make sense? Like the, there's a playfulness with this intellect arouses me where we can have fun even while we're, um, uh, we can find appreciation for ourselves even while we are working on deeper heavier topics. Does that make sense? There, there should be an opportunity here today to honor who we are and what we know and be even a little bit um, uh, excited by it or proud of it. That's the arouse in, in the, your intellect arouses me. It's like patting yourself on the back, giving yourself a little credit where it's due. Um, understanding that, you know, you have a skill set. That's why we're seeing also that Eight of Pentacles twice this week. There's a skill set within you. There's a knowledge and a wisdom that's within you that comes and stems out of some of these experiences that maybe haven't been the easiest in our lifetimes, but they've created us into who we are and how capable we are. And that's kind of this idea of like honoring, you know, this intellect uh, or this, our skill set in a way. That's the feeling that I'm getting from that. So grounding in that, you know, Finding the positive aspects of who you are and how you deal with stuff today would be really key as you move through it. That is your forecast for the day. I hope it makes sense. Sorry it's going up so late. It's just been a crazy set of days. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Please hit that thumbs up button, share the video out, leave a question or comment. And um, I will look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.